I want to, I want to commend my colleague, the member from, uh, from Halifax, for, uh, for her tenacity in, uh, in supporting uh, this community and, and supporting this iconic structure that means so much uh, to not only the people of Sambro and the people of Halifax, but frankly, I would suggest uh, people across this country, um, if not uh, internationally, because, you know, uh, as, as has been said, this uh, structure was built in 1758. In fact, it was built by the, by the first act of the legislature of Nova Scotia, the oldest um, uh, legislature in the, in the province of Nova Scotia. Um, and so, uh, Mr. Speaker, there have been a lot of people coming and going from, the, uh, uh, from, the, from Halifax Harbour, uh, whether it be the, the, as part of the Royal Canadian Navies, um, uh, or whether it be, uh, be uh, immigrants, um, war brides and, and immigrants coming uh, to this great country. Um, it's been suggested by, uh, by veterans, uh, Mr. Speaker, that, that when they left the harbour, the Sambro Lighthouse was the last thing that, that they saw. Um, and uh, when they were returning to Halifax Harbour, uh, it was the first thing that they saw. And as, as one uh, veteran uh, expressed, it was like lifting a huge load off of their shoulders uh, in making that crossing and uh, actually seeing the lighthouse and recognizing the fact that, uh, that Nova Scotia, that Canada, was, uh, was a few short hours away. Mr. Speaker, it's a, a huge structure standing 24 meters tall um, of stone and, uh, and, and concrete located on a granite island uh, as I said, off the entrance to Halifax Harbour, uh, just uh, slightly beyond the community of Sambro, it is, a, it is a, a stately structure. It's been referred to as Canada's Statue of Liberty. I, uh, I was, uh, was thinking about this the other day, that my, my wife's grandfather came to this country in 1928, came through uh, Pier 21, and he would have seen this. Uh, he would have seen this structure as, uh, as the ship he was on approached this wonderful country that uh, he then made his home and raised his family, uh, Mr. Speaker, as did so many. So why is this important? Well, what this bill does is it uh, places the Sambro Island Lighthouse within the Heritage Lighthouse Protection Act. Um, it's a, uh, and, and therefore it becomes a responsibility under, uh, under Parks Canada um, and their responsibility for maintaining it and saving a piece of our, uh, of our natural heritage, Mr. Speaker. You know, the uh, Heritage Lighthouse Protection Act came in force in 2008, but for some reason, um, many heritage buildings, uh, this included, uh, were missed. And, uh, and uh, as a result, uh, uh, there was a requirement in there that the community uh, gather together and put together a, a, uh, a petition and nominate, uh, nominate these uh, historic structures um, and put together a business plan. And it was quite an owner's process. And needless to say, it was a, it was a difficult one um, given the, the lack of resources. But there was, uh, there was a lot of work done. It, and, and I think an indication of why it was so important for Parks Canada to take this over, for the Government of Canada to take over this important uh, structure is, is recognition of the cost. No, no community was going to be able to, to manage the cost of, of maintaining this important structure. As I, uh, as I indicated, it's, uh, it's on an island, uh, 24 meters tall. Um, we got an indication of what it would cost to, to maintain it uh, when in uh, 2008 the Coast Guard repainted the lighthouse, uh, they used a helicopter to ferry supplies, including a large web of scaffolding. Total cost was about $80,000. Uh, huge expense for a, a small community, uh, Mr. Speaker, and so a very, uh, very difficult process. But I give credit to the, the Sambro Island uh, Lighthouse Preservation Society uh, for, uh, uh, for being diligent, for being tenacious, and in making sure that uh, that this issue, along with um, uh, Barry McDonald of the Nova Scotia Lighthouse Preservation Society, uh, I don't know how many uh, hundreds of petitions uh, 
uh, I table in this house along with my colleagues uh, from Nova Scotia, uh, but it was uh, it was in they they made sure that it was in the minds of uh, uh, of uh, Nova Scotians and uh, and Canadians that something needed to be done about this, and I commend them all uh, all of those volunteers for their efforts um, in uh, in this regard, Mr. Speaker, because that's why we're now at this point. I, I would say, and, and, I was, uh, um, and I was happy to congratulate the uh, government when I, when I heard just this, uh, this past spring, the, um, the government invested, uh, indicated that they would, early May, I guess it was, they would invest 1.5 million to restore the Sambro Island Lighthouse, uh, because as uh, the minister at the time indicated, uh, it was one of the most iconic structures in the country. Uh, great news uh, allow a long overdue and needed concrete renovations, rehabilitation of the original lantern and gallery, and repainting to take place. But again, this is and this was recognized as a, uh, a stopgap measure, and it was important that, uh, that this legislation and, and be, uh, uh, be introduced in the House. And, and my understanding is that the government has indicated Government members have indicated their support uh, for that, and, uh, and for that I will uh, be happy to commend them. Mr. Speaker, Parks Canada, part of its mandate is to protect the health and wholeness of commemorative integrity uh, of national sites it operates. This means preserving the site's cultural resources, communicating its heritage values and national sig significance, and kindling the respect of people whose decisions and actions affect the site. That's why it's, uh, it's so important for, uh, uh, for, this, uh, um, for this, uh, this structure, this heritage structure, this important structure in, in the history of Nova Scotia and the history of Canada uh, to, be, to be properly protected by the federal government. I just uh, I wanted to say, uh, Mr. Speaker, that it's not as if the federal government hasn't already recognized the heritage value of this structure. In, uh, in 1937, the Sambra uh, Lighthouse was designated a National Historic Site and a plaque was placed in the village of Sambro. And then in 1996, the lighthouse received Federal Heritage Rebo Review Board uh, classified status, the highest ranking status for Canadian government heritage buildings. In the case of classified uh, Federal Heritage Buildings, buildings for which the Minister has assigned the highest level of protection. Departments are required to consult uh, with the, um, with the uh, heritage uh, uh, protection um, legislation before undertaking any action that would affect their heritage uh, structure. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I, uh, I, I didn't indicate when I began that this is important to me for another reason. That is because I was the member of the Legislative Assembly um, for, for the constituency of Halifax Atlantic uh, between the, uh, the years of 19, uh, 1991 and 2003, and, and Sambro was part of my constituency, and it was, it was, uh, uh, it was a, 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 a constant reminder of the, the history that that community has shared um, with, uh, with North America, the fact that, that, uh, that Sambro has been a fish, uh, an active and productive fishing village for over 500 years, for over 500 years, uh, Mr. Speaker, and it continues to thrive to this day based on the, on the uh, uh, collaborative manner in which the uh, people in that community, the fishermen and, and others, uh, go about harvesting the resource uh, of, the, of the ocean in a sustainable fashion, uh, Mr. Speaker. So I'm, uh, I'm very proud uh, as... Uh, uh, you know, to be here, uh, my colleague, the member from Halifax, uh, who sponsored this bill, to be here to speak for a few moments in support of what she's uh, what she's been able to do for uh, this iconic heritage structure, uh, but also as somebody that having having had some attachment and having attended uh, many public meetings uh, in that community about uh, what the what we were going to do with the uh, with the Sambro Lighthouse. Uh, it's a good day. Uh, Mr. Speaker, and I'm, uh, I'm pleased uh, to stand here in support. And again, I commend my colleague, the member from Halifax.